Hey folks, in this video we're going to be talking about persimmon, um, or common persimmon. Um, this is Diosporus virginiana of the Ebenaceae family. Um, virginiana, of course, meaning of or from Virginia. Um, looking at this tree, um, we'll talk about its identification first. You can see in overall size, it can be a pretty large tree. You'll often see it in the understory looking kind of craggly um, in North Carolina, but it can get pretty tall just like this one. Looking at its mature bark, you can see it's very dark and cobbly in color and in structure. Um, that's very typical. We often refer to it as this being this kind of charcoal kind of looking colored bark. Um, if you were to cut off a piece of that bark in a, like a flat line, it would look kind of purplish um, and wavy. Um, that can help you differentiate it from some other barks that we have in the area. I found a younger one over here that we can look at the leaves a little bit closer. If you look at them, you can see they are strongly ovate in shape, meaning they're widest towards the middle. You can see they're alternately arranged along this branch. And if you look very closely, you can see that they have these dark triangular black buds um, that are kind of oppressed to the stem. Those buds are going to be really helpful in helping distinguish this from um, Nissa sylvatica, which is going to typically have a little bit more of a um, larger pointy bud. If you um, actually pull off one of these leaves, let me see if I can do that. You can see its younger bark is a little bit less dark and cobbly, but um, the older bark over there, you can still see it. Very dark and cobbly, younger bark, still cobbly, a little bit less dark. It'll mature into a darker color. If we look at the vascular bundle scars left over by the leaf scar, you can see it's actually like a little smiley face um, in there, in the leaf scar, which is that the tip of our petiole. You can see that little tiny smiley face. And that's gonna help differentiate it from Nessa sylvatica, which has those three dots. Um, if we look back at the tree, we can actually see the fruits hanging up there in the tree. They look like these little orbs. Um, they're typically yellowish to orange in color. Um, we'll look on the ground for a few that we can identify. Um, this is what they look like. So here's the fruit. Um, and their fruits look kind of like little pumpkins or little tomatoes, um, depending on what floats your boat. Um, they have these um, sort of like four bracts near the top of them. Um, and they're kind of this orangish color and shape. Um, this is one of those plants that we might trick you with um, earlier in the year if you were in person. I'm going to ask if anyone wanted to eat one because if you were to eat them too early in the season, they have a very astringent um, flavor. They'll actually kind of dry out your mouth and make you feel like you ate something um, that sucked all the moisture out of your mouth. Um, and that's just the astringent compounds in it that help protect it until it's fully ripe. Um, later in the fall, usually after the first frost, it kind of loses that astringent flavor. And a lot of people use these for um, um, puddings and pies um, and breads. Um, persimmon's a popular um, food. You won't typically see it in stores because it's kind of hard to um, transport, um, but you might see the Chinese persimmon um, grown in store, uh, offered it in stores. But yeah, looking at that bark, that cobbly bark um, that's typically dark in color with that smiley face bundle scar, those very broad, dark, ovate leaves um, with a cute tip um, that's going to get you persimmon.